Hello, YouTubers. Mezcal here. Here we are with a Tesla bike filer pancake. This is a properly wound pancake where there's not. Uh, I'm not using uh, you know, a figure eight like speaker cable and then crossing over. Um, so it's actually two wines laid flat. You can see that if you start at the middle and work your way out. Um, so uh, no capacitor tuning. Here's the jug. I've done a calibration run. Calibration run starting at 24.4 from the wall, from completely cold. Gave me 1.34 minutes till the jug boiled and clicked off the click. Uh, once it was preheated, I put another 500 mils of cold water back in again, and it was uh, 1 minute 25. So the jug's warm now. I'm expecting this to be, uh, if we're if we're at the same rate as the wall, then we'll be somewhere around this 1 minute 30 mark. So I'm going to tip out the jug. Jug's completely empty. Here's the, uh, the base station for the jug. There's no hidden wires. That's straight onto the pancake coil. Warmed up a tiny bit. You see that? I'm getting 25. Okay, so that's pretty damn close. Let's show you the empty jug. Completely bone dry. Get back on there. Okay, so we'll pop that in there. So we've got to be quick about this because that's already starting to warm up. Okay. Power on. Fry. Error. Just don't plug it. Plug it back in. I'll try stir fry. where that sensor is I've bypassed the overheat sensor that's uh that's uh, 192 degrees c at 250 volts that's what's um that's what's up under the in the position that this thing is uh, i'm not sure what that is it looks like a diode a signal diode but why would a signal diode be used in that sense i'm not sure uh I bypassed that, as I said, chopped the wires off and soldered together its legs. That's not going to be a problem. The cook has already been running without that. So uh, maybe it's maybe that's moved a bit. I'll bring that back more to the middle where it should be. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll try firing it up without uh, the connection. Jug off. Uh, this, the jug was on before, so let's try it loaded.
are having some difficulty getting the uh, cooker to engage. So I don't know what that's all about. Let's make sure it's on. It's on. On. Stir fry. It's straight into error. I'm moving that thing out of the way. I'll try removing it all together. See how that goes. Probably won't start at all now. Fully, fully short circuited the uh, thing there. All right, so um, here we go. Let's see where we're at with the temperature from the jug. Okay, so it didn't come up too much. It was at 20, 27 now. In there, 32. On the way up, it's heating. I'm on the 1400 watt setting there. Um, I'll just center that a bit better. Mm, I didn't start my timer. Okay, well, I'll do this again, but this is just uh, getting a feel for it, I guess. I'll leave it with that there while it boils. And I'll come back. Uh, there should be a little cap on there just to be consistent to what I did when I ran it before. Oh, got an error there. Fifty three. What was my time ago? 